beautiful people? It's me, Penny Queen, and I'm back with another video. Yes, today's video is going to be about this updo here. First, I want to tell y'all some things. So, on this channel, I'm going to start a series on this channel called the Dash Out the Door 5 Minute Updo. I'm going to bring you various updos that you could do with your hair, with natural hair or with hair added that you can literally do in 5 to 10 minutes. Like this hairstyle here probably took me maybe 10 minutes max. Especially if the hair is already prepped and everything. And I'll get into that in the video. But these hairstyles are like 5 to 10 minutes. Like the previous hairstyle I did in the video. You can check it out. I'll leave it in the cue card above. That hairstyle took also five minutes. The Issa Rae recreation, five minutes. Put your head in a ponytail, twist it up, boom, and you're good to go. See, I like hairstyles like that, and I also like hairstyles that's not really on my neck. I like all my hair up because I, I don't have to deal with it, and it's out of my face, so I don't have to break out because of my hair. And you know, it's easy. So, if you want to see how I achieved this, quick hairstyle here you already know what to do just keep watching all right so let's jump right into this so before y'all get started I start this style and then y'all be like wait you ain't tell me about that so I want you all to get two packs of braiding hair and then I want you to braid it this is one pack of braiding hair I braided the whole pack all the way to the end. This is some tapered braiding hair, so that's why it's skinny at the end. Um, if you don't have tapered braiding hair at the end, that's fine. It could do regular braiding hair that's thick all the way to the end. And then the second pack of braiding hair, I just braided it into two braids. Now you see there's some blonde in there. I just um, took a little bit of that blonde hair that I had left over since my ends are blonde, and you're gonna see a little bit of my ends. So I wanted to just throw in some blonde in there, but yeah, this is one pack. I just split it in half and did two braids. That's it. And then I have this little scrunchie on it. This is how I attached it and then braid it to the end, like the other one. So you have two braids. Before we get started and then I pull these out, you're like, wait, where did those come from? I'm letting you know that this is what I'm gonna be using for this updo. So let's jump right into it. This part is where I'm going to be silent and you can just watch and see how I achieve this look. Alright, so let's go. Alright, we're going to start by moisturizing our hair since my hair is not freshly clean. Here we're going to split our hair into four sections. Our four sections being this small section in the back. Your parts don't have to be perfectly straight. Um, just get them enough that's good for you. Make sure you moisturize your hair since I'm using rubber bands. I tend to use a lot of moisturizer and I comb to get the roots straight and the ends. And then you're going to take a rubber band and put it in a section. And then I want you to twist it up and put it into a small bun. You have to keep your hair moisturized with these rubber bands. You do not want it to pull your hair. Alright, this is the second section. <laughs> that part is not straight and I felt that too. <laughs> I'm doing this blind, but I'm doing a pretty good job. Keep it moisturized. Then we're going to put a rubber band on it and we're going to repeat that throughout the four sections. So this one you're going to actually connect it to the one at the top. Here I'm making my third section. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
some of the sections had to be a little detangled because you don't want the bulkiness. If it's not detangled, when you put it in ponytails and twist it up, you'll get a little bulky. So I wanted to take some of the bulkiness out. Here I'm just applying some gel. And then I'm going to twist this section. And I'm going to connect it to the section at the top. Now we're not going to collect, connect all four sections. We're just going to connect the three sections at the top. And the section at the bottom is going to stay unconnected and you'll see why. You're going to grab the big braid that you made, not the one with two, but the one with one, and you're going to connect it to the bottom ponytail like such. That's why I did not connect the bottom ponytail to the others. Then you're going to grab some bobby pins and start connecting it. I did two bobby pins per ponytail, one on each side, just to make sure it was secure. You do not have to use as many bobby pins as I did. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going anywhere. And see, with not doing knots all the way to the top, you wouldn't have to worry about blending the braid around the ponytail. That's why I made them go forward. And at the top, you're just going to connect the one with two braids around the ponytail. And then here, you're gonna have to just like make up how you want it you have to lay the braids exactly how you want it and then bobby pin them down I had no idea how I wanted them I was just playing with them until I got the perfect look all right just keep watching Hey guys you reached the end of this video and as you see like I told you this hairstyle is quick and easy to do it's not a lot of it's not a lot of manipulation with your own hair to get this style it's quick and this is one of those other you know your girlfriend call you up boom bam you got a hairstyle to get out the door because she is ready to go so 
I really hope, as usual, this hairstyle was easy to follow. I hope I walked you through it. Um, as y'all know, I'm not that great with voiceovers. I really wish I could just like slow it down and just show you how I did it. Showing you versus telling you is a lot easier for me. Now, if you want me to not really do a lot of voiceovers and really just show you all how to do it, leave that in the comment box and I can do both or you know I can alternate between the two because it's hard to explain how to exactly do these things. I didn't really show you the hair that I used in the video it's because I just used regular braiding hair. Um, I used some braiding hair that I had left over from another hairstyle that I had done. So um, maybe next time if I use a particular brand, then I will show you. But I did mention that I used that blonde hair. As you can see, I used this blonde hair from the other hairstyle that I did, the halo twist. So that's what that hair is, if you wanna know what the blonde is. But the 1B black is just the 1B, sorry. But I'm not gonna hold y'all long. This is the end of the video and you already know what time it is. It's time to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and comment below. See you in the next one.